choose the most appropriate answer. Ram sold an article at a certain profit, and he purchased the article for ten percent less than what he actually purchased it for, and sold it for twelve point five percent more than what he actually sold it for. His profit percentage would have been two point five times his actual profit percentage. Find the actual profit percentage. Here, variation in sell price and cost price is equal to twelve point five percent minus minus ten percent. Which is equal to twenty two point five percent. So this twenty two point five percent causes this two point five times increment in actual profit percent. That is two point five times means five by two. So two part as the actual profit percent and five part as the present profit. Then actual profit percent must be a multiple of two. Here twenty is a multiple of Two and ten is a multiple of two. Option C and option B are eliminated. Now, if you directly go for option verification, if I consider cost price as hundred rupees, then profit is twenty percent, which means hundred plus twenty is one twenty. That means sell price is equal to one twenty. And question says, if Ram purchased the article for ten percent less than the Actual cost here. Actual cost is hundred rupees. Ten percent less means he should purchase it for ninety rupees. And if he sell it for twelve point five percent more than the original selling price, here original selling price is one twenty. If he sell it for twelve point five percent more means hundred percent of one twenty is one twenty and Ten percentage of one twenty is twelve. That means twelve point five percentage of one twenty is equal to twelve plus one by four of twelve. That is equal to fifteen. So one twenty plus fifteen is one thirty five. Now you can see here if he purchased it for ten percentage less than sold it for twelve point five percentage more, the profit will be. Two point five times the original profit is twenty. So two point five into twenty is fifty percentage. So let's check whether the profit is fifty percentage if he purchase it for ninety and sell it for one thirty five. Now difference between ninety and one thirty five is forty five rupees. This forty five rupees fifty percentage of the cost price ninety. That means here profit is fifty percentage. So option A is the right answer. If you want to do it using formula method, formula is equal to profit is sell price minus cost price divided by cost price into hundred. Now, if I consider cost price as hundred rupees and profit as P, then sell price is equal to hundred plus P. Now, question says if he purchased for ten percent is less than what he actually purchased it for. Now, purchasing price is hundred, so ten percentage less than that means hundred minus ten, that is ninety rupees. Now, if he sold it for twelve point five percentage more than the actual selling price means here actual selling price is hundred plus p, then twelve point five percentage more than that means. Hundred plus p plus twelve point five percentage of hundred plus p. Here, twelve point five percentage of hundred is twelve point five. Then hundred plus twelve point five is one twelve point five plus p plus twelve point five percentage of p is equal to one twelve point five percentage of p. Now we can see if I take the difference between Sell price and cost price. This is equal to twenty two point five, which is equal to twelve point five percentage minus minus ten percentage. So here, if I apply this formula, here profit is two point five times the actual profit. So two point five p is equal to sell price minus cost price is equal to twenty two point five plus one twelve point five by hundred p. Divided by cost price means divided by ninety. I will write this divided by ninety as ninety into two point five. That is denominator to 
LHS. Now you write this right hand side 100 in the left hand side denominator. 19 to 2.5 is equal to 225. 225 percentage P minus 112.5 percentage P is equal to 112.5 percentage P which is equal to 22.5. This means that here if I multiply this 22.5 with 100 this one goes 20 times. So P is equal to 20. So option A is your answer.